Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Out here this morning, the second day of a doubleheader, and yet again dealing with some weather, what feels like for at least more than half of the seven races we've had this year. Um, so it's just something we're gonna be dealing with today just like we did yesterday, and uh, we'll just have to roll with it. Today we're doing a normal format, so we'll just have qualifying and then a race. Uh, coming off of a really strong day for us yesterday, especially that man right there. Not, not, as, not especially me. You won. You won the race. Technicality. But I, I did win, but it was a technicality. And um, yeah, just excited to get into this day. I mean, probably going to have more work for us today with this, this rain that we're going to probably be dealing with, but just part of it, right? <laughs> So working on the carts and realized I needed something else. And so heading over to our uh, uh, trailer, which I should have told you guys, we got a new, we got a new truck and trailer here. And so um, probably should have showed you guys that I'll take you on a tour here. Um, yeah, we just, we just picked it up. It was a delivery this weekend. It was already here at the, at the track waiting on us. Um, so I'm just gonna pop in real quick and go get go get that part wait a minute there's some kind of mistake here it's locked so one of the cool things that uh, we got from Gary for our engine is this little catch can down here uh, very cool um, real compact convenient to the engine and this is the old way of doing it and so you can see that that was kind of put together by uh, uh, Casey. And this is the efficient way of doing it. What's crazy about that, Casey? Yeah, no, what's crazy we about thought, that is We thought that was pretty innovative. I was real proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was real proud of it. I got this little bar thing, I cut it, I hacked it off. <laughs> yeah, been outdone. We replaced one of our cart stand wheels. Uh, we had a number of blowouts, and so we replaced it with a uh, non pneumatic so it doesn't have any air it's just rubber and uh, while it was ratcheted down for a couple weeks and uh, uh, while we were off it got a flat spot and so now it's a lot like a Walmart shopping cart it steers just like a Walmart shopping cart pulls hard left and it, dad's holding it down so it's not clanking like it normally does but usually you roll through here and it's just clank 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 it's great. Stall racing. It's stall racing for you. That's it. Here we are on a cloudy, windy day, but a wonderful day at the go-kart track. One of the places I like to take my morning walk here is back by the pond, because on one side, you have serenity, and then on the other side, you have chaos. And I love both. And, uh, I, I I was thinking with, with this three-day weekend practicing on Friday racing on Saturday and Sunday I had the opportunity to go to this restaurant here in Newcastle and they have an all-you-can-eat chicken option available on Friday well I'm not here on Friday very often I'm 
pretty sure I can eat more than the three piece meal. So I order the all you can eat. I ate enough chicken that I've been laying eggs here for the past couple days, but it was really good. So with that in mind, we are here at the all you can eat chicken of go-kart tracks, Newcastle Motorsports Park. The Morning Walk with Dad. And I just marvel, you know, uh, go-karting's not for everybody, but there are so many lessons. I worry about our country. There are so many lessons that they could learn. Camaraderie, during the event, after the event, racing somebody hard and then turning around and helping them when they've got a problem to get back out there and race against you, maybe even beat you. And, you know, sometimes tempers flare and there's, you know, there's a few jerks out here, but it's just amazing to me the community that shows up here. And I've got to believe that other go-kart tracks around the world and that sense that if we could just capture that and take that spirit put aside all these differences that we see and, and kind of get the big picture this world would be a lot better off so thank you to all the go-karters out there really appreciate it oh my gosh man four tenths Ted's stall fourth baby Old man just qualified fourth. Wow. Fourth, Dad. Seriously? I am dead serious. Oh, nice run. Good job, man. Good run. Thank you. Oh, man. It's all that guy right there. I just followed him. Thank you. So qualifying's done. Had a really good run. Uh, qualified fourth. Um, and there's just a hair between me and eight. So there's a big group there. And I was able to get through them. I owed a uh, friend of ours, Drew Galloway, a big note of thanks. I followed Drew. And uh, he helped me put together a, a much better line than what I'd found by myself in practice. So we'll see where we go from here. But it's a good start. I qualified sixth and there was a lot more in that red cart right there I told dad when i came in it's stupid how good that cart is just uh i think i've mentioned it but out here the way qualifying works you can't bump draft so you can't touch the bumper of, of the cart in front of you and so it's a game of gaps and i left a pretty big gap i thought to the the cart in front of me but um I closed it by the exit of turn two. And so from there for, forward, I'm kind of breathing it so I don't touch his bumper and get penalized. And uh, there's a, it was a bummer in that sense, but it's great that I know that cart has, it has the speed going up here to grandpa. We're marching forward guys. Look at this. I mean, look, look at the old man up here. Row two, baby. Row two. Okay, here we are. And this is actually day two of uh, a doubleheader uh, weekend, and I'm starting fourth of 12. Uh, had qualified well, very exciting. Uh, I have to credit Drew. I'd followed him in qualifications, and he had helped me uh, find the line. And so, uh, I'm not sure that it's my highest starting spot, but it's it's close and so again we're ready and we're excited and I was it was a funny uh, ordeal I'd finished fifth the day before was full of confidence went out for the first practice and could not have stunk I think I spun in the hairpin it, it was just terrible how it started so it humbled me in a hurry and here we get off to a start and I'm on the outside and that John gets a little squirrely right there at the exit of two and that was just enough for me to leverage getting into third place and that could not have been more important. This was a short, fast track and um, very hard to pass on. And John would uh, get to me in several sections, uh, but was, uh, would bump me and help me stay with these front two. And uh, away we went and we were off to the races. And, 
you know, yet I learned my lesson from the from the race before. I wasn't giving anything away this time. I was uh, I was racing as hard as I possibly could because I felt confidence in the uh, cart and the engine, and uh, even a little bit with the driver. And so, as the race progressed, the the gray clouds uh, appeared, but for me it was nothing but bright sunshine because I am running right there with John O'Keefe and Michael Wells. It was funny to talk to Michael afterwards. He told me, uh, I'll put it politely, but he told me if I was going to run third behind him, I'd better be able to push him, and I was just never able to. He looked around. I felt bad. wanted to get a little help to try and push him past John O'Keefe, and I just wasn't there for him. I was close, uh, but it, most of the time coming right off the scoreboard hairpin, I just uh, wasn't able to get to him. But you can see the pace, and uh, that's about where it was. I could not get right to his bumper, but, um, you know, occasionally get got a push from John behind me, but it was legit. And so, again, very stoked, and... Um, Heading down, the, the cart started off, first few laps, it was absolutely spectacular. Um, in the, I don't know whether it was my psychology or what, but the last few laps, I really had trouble. But here it is, finished third, and uh, my first podium ever, and uh, was obviously very excited about that. I, You can see the, uh, the crowd there, and it... Um, about tearing up just looking at the replay of it and this is really special here I hope you're able to see it somewhat but I certainly was and I make the turn here on pit lane and and I just see see what seemed like everybody at the track was down at the end there uh, with their hands up in the air and clapping and uh, I'm not sure John or Michael knew what was going on but um, there you can see it a lot of uh, a lot of people and and I pulled it in, and I decided I'd play it cool. Um, I wish I'd have just jumped up and down like a fool, because that's what I felt like doing, and I couldn't have appreciated it more from everybody. Uh, that, that's the best part, you know. The podium's great, the medal's good, but, but getting that kind of congratulations from the family and from all my friends out there, that's what it's all about. That's what keeps me going out there every week, and I love it. So, thank you all. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. All right, I think it might be third, but he's running, so I'll just hit this last corner. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Hit it. Hit it. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Woo! Podium! Podium! All right! <laughs> All right! Yeah, it is. Woo! Okay, you can see here we're coming off the what we call the cut through onto the main straight. So that means it's a shorter track because only about half the straightaway is ran. And so I'm starting sixth here, right behind Riley, next to Max using the tram lines. We get off to a nice clean start. As usual, we go through the next few corners, two by two, sorting things out. And I'm gonna go here uh, with Max into this next corner. So here we go. He leaves me enough room on the outside. I'm able to carry that momentum and complete the pass. So now I move up into fifth. And I'm looking to uh, close in on the, this lead group and you can see there's some shuffling up there that definitely helps things and so I'm right here on Riley's bumper and so I figure I'll give it a try to uh, get around him here so I'm gonna go to the inside he does a nice job of hanging tough on the outside and he holds me off I fall back to lick my wounds and uh, and try again uh, so I was able to close the gap again there was a lot of fighting and so here, um, you can see a lot of shuffling here. It was kind of annoying because I couldn't partake. I was right there on the outskirts. Uh, they were all slicing and dicing, and I was kind of stuck watching. Um, I just was bumping and trying to get weasel my way in. 
Um, so right here, I finally have the opportunity to do so. On the outside of Riley, he kind of lost his momentum right there, and I caught a little more of the draft, which is very helpful. And so I'm able to pass Riley, move into fourth here. So right now I'm riding in fourth, and I'm going to have the opportunity to make a move right up here in this hairpin. So I'm going to look to the inside of Desi here and make the move into third. With that move uh, on Desi came a gap between me and first and second. So now the job is just to close that down. And so me and the, the cart behind were able to uh, work together and close that gap. But speaking of my cart, it was great. Now the driver, the driver had some areas to improve, which you'll see here in a uh, few seconds. But the cart, man, I was so happy with it. So now we've caught back up to first and second. And right here, I'm just going to misjudge Drake in the 20 there. I just misjudged it and ended up jamming up my front bumper between my tires. So I'm having to kick it out and lost a pretty decent chunk on the group. Um, so now I'm coming up to the area where I was very deficient as a driver. This hairpin right here was just really bad like it was just trash guys and i've driven that enough that it shouldn't be trash but yet more times than not it was trash and so right here riley got a run on me and i'm going to tell him right here with gestures like dude hey come on let's catch up to these guys don't let them get away and then you can try those moves but let's catch those guys before we uh we start doing this and uh so he he worked with me we caught back up so now in the back of my mind, I know Riley's looking to make a move on me. So I start looking on Drake, looking to make a move there. Uh, couldn't make it stick, but right here. I honestly can't explain that, how I got such a good run. I think they must have just washed out, but that draft is so big. That draft is huge. So I had no chance being solo there, and they, they were able to carry on. And so here... I'm going to take another peek, but just not enough. Not enough. And this is the last lap here. And I've got a good bump from behind. And it turns out that it was Josh. And right here, he did everything he could to get me to make that move. And I didn't. I hesitated and didn't make it. And right there, I pay the price. Um, because if you don't make the move, somebody's going to make the move on you. And uh, that's what happened. So, nice job, Josh. Uh, you uh, you outraced me there, and uh, he takes third from me, and now I'm just looking to uh, do a little damage control from that and try to finish in fourth, which I do. So a fourth place finish and a very fun race. So all in all, a good day. So last night, I was sitting here with a couple of friends uh, enjoying conversation, and it started raining and uh, uh, just a nice rain and, and all of a sudden I could feel the wind picking up so our big canopy here, our 12 by 12 I just started to lower it and uh, before I could, I lowered that side before I could get to this side a big gust of wind just crushed it and a uh, good friend Kevin Scott held it and place and Todd was holding down another side so the three of us rode the storm out standing up um, with the rain going sideways uh, holding on to that canopy we'll see if we can salvage it but one of the things was we had already put the carts underneath our other canopy and you can see here that we kind of had rigged for a worst case situation a couple extra supports in addition to the guides on the side um, and that may have been the difference. I guess there were uh, carts that had, or carts, uh, shelters that had blown out on the track and I uh, saw a lot of them uh, caved in. So we weren't the only ones impacted. Big, big shout out to uh, Kevin and Todd for their help. But, um, you know, if you have a chance to implement something, uh, like that it may have made the difference for us last night just a little extra support so um, quite an event you know we've um, we've been racing out here at Newcastle for four or five years and we've met some fantastic people made great friends 
and I mean really good people who know what friendship means and uh, it's just been a great thing to spend time with them and today uh, finishing third I exited the track and I was exhausted but I will tell you this here you exit pit lane and you make a left hand and there's a long run down to the scale house and when I turned that corner all I saw was this crowd of people with their hands up and clapping and it was uh, made it really special um, celebrating with me you'd have thought I won the Indy 500 and right now I think this probably feels just a little bit better so thank you to all those that were there and congratulated me and, and made it you know it's a third place but for me it's been a, a mountain to climb especially with a bad start this year and you know what it just went from a really great internal satisfying moment for me to uh, something really special so I uh, thanks to all those that were down there I don't expect any more for a third place finish but um, it sure was great to see you today thank you all right guys wrapping up just as mother nature is getting ready to unload on us in fact it is raining right now so gonna make this a quick outro but the man of the weekend right here in the red shirt dad let's see that hardware let's see that hardware come on there it is with some fruit snacks uh, fruit snacks look there at that look at that proud of the old man feels like a pork warner <laughs> Yep, oh, it was just a great weekend. Great weekend. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. It's you